guys hello my wonderful followers welcome to your favorite channel niger beauty you guys happy lost day i want us to talk about this pastor tb joshua of a person honestly i keep wondering why he's still running even though he's late for years ago like he died as of 2021 still he's still running people are still talking about him honestly at first i never wanted to talk about pastor tb joshua because firstly he's a man of god whether caught by God or have any other source of power, but he's a man of God, I believe so. So I don't think I have any right to talk about him or judge him, that kind of stuff. But there is this one thing that got me from BBC. BBC uh, African News told us that that during the incident that happened, his church collapsed as of 2014 and killed 116 persons. That TB Joshua buried like hide a lot of dead bodies and intimidates families just to cover up. Yeah! That's the, uh, the particular thing that got me. I decided to talk about Pastor TB Joshua because all those people that is coming out right now to testify about him, where were they when the man was still alive? And what really happened when the man died? In Kombisi, after many years. He came out to testify wrongly but when he was alive a lot of people were testifying about his miracle healings now that he's dead about years ago people are still talking about him not digging out bad things that he did which seemed true because it's an accusation the man is no longer alive to prove himself right or wrong and inside us people that were working with him are the one telling us these things honestly guys i think these people that is confessing right now should be arrested because they are partner in crime. You can't tell me your daddy was telling you to do something and you know that it wasn't right and you were doing it. The man is late and you are here to like crucify the man, talk wrongly about the man. Guys, let's talk about the incident that happened in 2024. Because PCA Radio is trying to tell us that not only 116 persons died, that a lot of people died. And Insider is telling us when the incident happens that they never allowed the emergency to go inside and save people. Like, it took a lot of time before they allowed them to go inside. They locked the gates. The reason why? Police never said about it. They never filed a case. Even if they filed a case, the man was not present in the courts. Not even for one day. They were postponing it. And this the particular person that is telling us that he was working with the man was still the person that was distributing money to the judges which means the case was taken for granted. He closed everything up. Even people that lost their people, he was giving them money. What was the money for? We never, like, even those people that were collect, collecting the money, they never asked questions where they, why they, they were giving them a huge amount of money. Which means there are some things to it. There are something that is popping a lot of us don't really know about these incidents. This incident, they said this man hide a lot of dead bodies. And you know that it wasn't the man that was carrying the dead bodies, which means he had the disciples and the people confessing right now, crucifying this uh, this man of God, is still the disciples. They are the disciples that were working with him. I don't know why they are confessing right now. I think they should be locked up. They hide the dead bodies. That time that they wish the, the emergency, that was the time they were hiding some dead bodies. So more than 116 persons died in that incident. And according to T.B. Uh, Joshua, what he told us as of 2014, he told us that the church was bombed after the uh, a aircraft passed the building. Within seconds, the building collapsed, which means it was bombed. All of us believe that the church was bombed by a unknown person that was trying to kill him, but killed a lot of souls. That's to tell us for this man to like to hide dead bodies, intimidate families, close their mouths with money. There are so many like there are really many things to it. Of which those people that are testifying, they are still owing us a lot of information that we got to know. Honestly, because it's not funny, according to what people are saying, that even the man was not feeling any kind of remorse that people died in his church. Even the next Sunday, he even went to church live. This was not even Selema. He went there live telling them the church was bombed. Like, it is devil and that, that kind of stuff. And you never appeared in the court, like, to clarify yourself. 
you intimidate people because a lot of people are complaining of being harassed sexually and manipulated and lots of insulted suppressed only by this man of God. I don't understand. Why is it that you guys couldn't even speak up back then? In come be saying now where the man don't die for years, buried, decayed. And you guys are bringing up this issue, guys. What do you even think about this? Do you think all these things are real? How sure are they? These people that are saying this thing, do you think that they are chasing clout or not? How sure are they that it's not it's like more than 116 16 persons die? Are they with the evidence because it's four years back? Are they still seeing the dead bodies? Eventually, they are seeing it. Uh, stay tuned and share this video. Bye, guys.